Hello everyone. So today in this video we are going to solve question of lead code. There is baseball game. This is 680 second question lead code and this comes under easy category. All right. So let's start with the problem statement. You are keeping a score for a baseball game with strange rules. The game consists of several rounds where the score of past round may affect future rounds score. So basically we have given few conditions and we need to manipulate the result on the basis of these conditions. So at the beginning of the game, you start with an empty record. You are given a list of a string where ith operation you must apply to the record and is one of the following. So basically we have given four operations. If an integer is given, we need to record a new score of x. Then if a plus sign is there, then record a new score that is the sum of the previous two scores, it is guaranteed that there will always be two previous scores. Then D, D means record a new score that is double the previous score. It is guaranteed that there will be always a previous score. Then for C, in the inval invalidate the previous score and remove it from the record. It is guaranteed that there will always be a previous record. So basically we need to implement these four conditions or we can say four operations in our code and at the end we need to return sum of all the scores in the record so as it is given in the first example when a number is encountered it directly adds into our record then for two it adds into our record then invalidate for c removing it from the record so two will be removed from the record then we have D. D means double the previous record. So this will double the previous record like previous one is 5. So it will just double and add 10 to it. Now, mm, now positive sign. So positive signs what, what it will do? It will just sum the previous two records. So it will just sum 5 and 10. So it will be 15. So, so the basic intuition behind this is, you know, like how can we solve this question? So Whenever we see these conditions, the first idea comes is we need to check the last condition, last value which we just added into the data structure. So we already know there is a data structure through which we can access the last entered value and that is the stack. So a stack is basically a data structure where uh, which follows the first in last out property or we can say last in first out property. So let's quickly try to solve this question by a stack. So let's say we have found a stack here. Um, let me make a comment and let's copy this vector of a string and this is our first example all right so let's make a stack for this now whenever we encounter a number let's directly push it into our stack then we have two let's push two into our stack now we have c so c will be removing the previous record from the given uh, from the stack so let's remove two from here now we have D. So D will double the previous score. So D will just double this 5 and add it into our stack. That is pushing into our stack. Then 10 will be pushed into it. Then we have positive sign. Positive signs mean we need to add the previous two values. So let's add them and push a added value into it. So 5 plus 10 is 15. Let's push 15 into our stack. Now at the end we need to sum all the scores. So after summing all the values of stack, we will get 30. All right, it's pretty easy question. I think it's the approach is clear to you. Let's quickly code it up. So let's make a stack of integer here and let's run a for loop auto x. Oops. All right, now let's check for each condition like if x is equal equal to c so in c what we will do we will just remove the previous value from the record so let's pop s dot pop all right then else if then next condition is d all right so if x is equal equal to d then we will just record the new score with double of the previous value so we will just double the previous value so let's take an integer int x is equal to s dot top 
and let's push s dot push x into 2 now for addition sign what we need to do is we need to sum the previous two values so else if x is equal equal to positive sign then what we will do in x is equal to s dot top and let's pop it out from here so s dot pop because we need to access last two values so we need to pop it once then let's take int y is equal to s dot top and we need to again push this value because we popped it out here all right so let's push it into our stack pane so s dot push x now push s dot push x plus y i hope these two statements are clear to you now if these three conditions are not true then definitely it is a number so for number what we will be doing here is that we will just push STOI this STOI function is converting string to integer so STOI and let's push our x here we cannot take x because x we have taken here let's take some other identifier here so let's take a here all right here into 2 and here also in a equal to s dot top and yeah we just replaced x with x yeah so i hope this is fine now and at the end what we will do we will just add all the elements of our stack so let's run let's take an integer in answer equal to 0 and let's run a while loop until s is not empty and let's add all the values into our answer so s dot top and just pop it out from here I hope it should work fine. Let's just write an answer from here. Yeah, it's working fine. Let's just submit it. Yeah, it's working fine. So let's calculate the time and space complexity of our solution. So the time complexity of our solution is big O of n because we are traversing through all the n elements of the vector and space complexity is also big O of n because in the worst condition we will be storing all the n elements into our stack so i hope the approach and solution is clear to you if you still have any doubt in this question feel free to comment it down please like this video subscribe to our channel thank you